1398, 03 martie 28, 28 martie e astăzi. You know Romania? Yes. yes. Da. The good news about Iran is that tourists from several countries can get now the visa on arrival. Politics aside, Iran is one of the most beautiful countries we have ever visited. But there are some weird things we've encountered during our visit. For example, the taxi phone application. It's so confusing. The license numbers of the cars are in Farsi. It's so difficult to identify our taxi. The driver keeps calling me, but <laughs> yeah, what can I do? He doesn't speak English. We didn't manage to get our Uber, our Snap, how it's called here, because uh, we haven't met with a driver. So another guy with an illegal taxi took us for three, uh, three euros to the outskirts of Tehran and here what do you know? A bus ready to go to Isfahan just waited for us. It's like a dream. And with only 7 euros for the both of us for the 600 kilometers to Isfahan, in 5 hours we will be at our destination. Everything is very cheap here. Because of the embargo, the exchange rate of the real on the black market is three times higher than the official one. Keep in mind that foreign bank cards are not accepted here. Take as much cash as you can and change it right away once you find an exchange office. Although the official currency in Iran is the real, people commonly express amounts of money and prices of goods in another currency, Toman. To get the price of a Toman, you have to take one zero off from the banknotes. Even more confusing, the government will introduce a new currency, also called Toman which will be obtained by cutting four zeros from the current banknotes. We reach Esfahan, the center of Iranian tourism. One of the must-sees of Iran is the Nakhch e Jahan Square in Isfahan. It was built in the 17th century by the same Shah Abbas and it's the second biggest square in the world after Tiananmen in Beijing and uh, certainly one of the most beautiful. You like it, babe? Yeah, very. <laughs> In 1568, King Abbas moved the capital of his empire here, and between 1598 and 1629, a very important historical site was built, the Naqsh e Jahan Square, which is also one of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Naqsh e Jahan means Images of the World Square. It is 160 meters wide and 560 meters long, making it the second largest square in the world. On the south side of the square stands another important monument, the Shah Mosque. It is regarded as one of the most important monuments of Persian architecture from the Islamic era. Its splendor is due to the beauty of its seven-color mosaic tiles and its calligraphic inscriptions. But tourists come here for something else. Da. Hey. The explanation for this unusual echo is that between the ceiling and the rooftop of this mosque there is a whole room and due to this empty space is this echo. And speaking of calligraphy, we couldn't miss the opportunity to write down our names in Persian. It's, it's 
is a type of calligraphy, it's kind of artistic thing, you know, you have to spend some trainings to uh, be able to write like that, you know, but if you show it to any Iranian, even this kid, everybody could read it. This is, and this part here with this one dot up here, okay? Mm -hmm. This N, and this is D, R, and A. Iran is not that country where traders can force tourists into their shops, except maybe for some carpet shops. But even without buying something, you can find interesting things over there. And how many hours do you need for? Such a carpet like this is about three years. Three years? Three, three years. Every day work. Like four to six hours per day. But concerning the amount of work, these Persian carpets are very cheap. Such a carpet like that is about 3,000 euro, roughly. Imagine 3,000 divided by 36. It's going to be 83 euro per month, which is uh, absolutely nothing. This is the tent of the nomad people in a Persian garden. In the garden we have got flowers, symbol of happy life. These are the four elements of the nature, fire, wind, water, soil. Mountains all around because they live in an oasis surrounded by the mountains. How um, did this embargo, this sanction from the US affect you and your business? Because Trump is kind of crazy. So the people don't trust what it says. So whenever you say, don't go to this country or whatever, I mean, when something is bad, people want to go there, I think. So it has got the advice, the reverse effect. Honey, are you ready for the big bazaar? I'm <laughs> for shopping, I'm all the time ready. So. Yeah, I've left the money at home, I'm very sorry. A bazaar is a bazaar. Regardless of the country, you buy, just for the sake of negotiating, objects that you later find that you do not need. Contrary to what people might think, female tourists don't have to wear black cloth or cover their faces. It is enough to cover your head with a scarf or a veil and wear decent and loose colored cloth. Just make sure the pieces of clothing cover your arms and your legs and are not tight or transparent on your body. You can wear sandals and you can also wear makeup. Around here they don't speak English, but you can get along with uh, Google Translate or you can learn a few words like salam, that means uh, hello and merci, very hard to learn, it's uh, thank you. Um, they will show you on the uh, pocket calculators the amount of money you have to pay for everything you want to buy. A little bit more complicated is uh, with those uh, reals and tumans and the new tumans, but don't worry, at the best part, it's very, very cheap. Like this dress was like $10, but it was a price for tourists. So another dress, exactly like that one, was no more than $3, really cheap. Funny, the uh, mannequins have here high heel shoes. Iranians are some of the nicest people we've ever had the chance to meet. Friendly and kind, eager to know where you come from, and always excited to talk about their culture. Alexandra gladly accepts a tea invitation to learn the Persian numbers. Another landmark not to be missed while in Esfahan is the Jame Mosque. Also a UNESCO monument, it is the result of the continual constructions that have been done from the year 771 until today. Before becoming a mosque during the Umayyad dynasty, it is said to have been a house of worship for Zoroastrians. Surprisingly for the conservative Islamic country that Iran is considered to be, visiting this mosque is very easy.
explore the cities of Iran cheap, try the Snap app. For only one euro, you will be driven for at least five kilometers. And the cheapest of all is, take care guys, the gasoline. Like seven euro cents for one liter. Well, the locals are saying that the benzene is not uh, of good quality, but for this price, what can you expect? We're looking for the one the of the best, the restaurant. best restaurant in town, according to TripAdvisor. Very expensive for for Iranians. Twelve, 12 euros, euros so. for a person, but it's a buffet with uh, traditional dishes, so let's check it out. This is cabbage and rice and different kind of vegetables. Wonderful fresh vegetables. This food is full of garlic because at the north of Iran they add a lot of garlic. This one is uh, one of our most uh, known, uh, actually most famous foods in Iran. Peanut, split peas, and you see this dried lemon, something that's used as a flavor with dried lemon. It's by its own self, it's bitter, but when added into the stew and cook it, for example, one hour or two hours, make it more sour. Oh my god, this is fesenjat, most popular food, something that I really recommend you to have it. Chicken, walnut, and a paste of pomegranate. <laughs> I'm so hungry, so let's eat. Nu exagera, zi dacă e bună sau rea. Foarte bună. O să faci la orice mâncare ce-o gusti. Dublea doi. Tu înainte să gust deja... Mm. E foarte bună. Ok. Mulțumită? Da. Dublea trei. Bă, trebuie neapărat să veniți în Iran. O să ce bună e supa asta. E bună? Deci așa pățești când îți iei niște chestii care nu le cunoști. Efectiv, eu am luat o creangă. Am crezut că e salată. Nu e problemă, ducem acasă și o plantăm. Am mâncat frunzele, au așa un gust foarte citatii. Ceva mentol ăla, dar nu-i mentă. Cunoaște cineva planta asta? Salvia? E la doar de decor. A must-visit place during sunset is the COC Bridge the bridge of the 33 arches. Standing as both a dam and a bridge, Siose is the place where locals come for a walk at sunset. After that, we're taking the overnight bus 500 kilometers to the city of Shiraz, where we'll travel back in time to Persepolis and we will visit a mosque that is a lady's favorite. Favorite not only for its beauty, but also because of its name, the Pink Mosque. Back in Tehran, we will try to find some American food, <laughs> yeah, you heard that right, before taking another bus one day and one night to Iraq. We invite you to subscribe to our channel Check the notification bell and visit our Facebook and Instagram pages.